What did I pick up at the Western Invert Show? Hello and welcome back to Bug Realms. So today's episode you will see my pickups from the Western Invert Show. Now if you've been following my channel for a while you'll know I was in a little bit of financial difficulty but I was hoping still to get at least one pickup. Now I got three guys, three pickups myself but I also got some freebies so there's going to be some thanks in order on this video as well. Now my choice was, you guys if you've been watching me you'll know I wanted to pick up a centipede. Now the one I was after was the Indian Blue. Oh, I wish I could guys, but the choice was get just the Indian Blue and come home, or get a slightly cheaper centipede and still be able to buy another couple of inverts. So that is what I did. Um, so yeah, let's just look at number one, shall we? So guys, here is our centipede. Now I'm not opening the lid to give you a better shot right now. You'll have to stay tuned to the channel to see the rehousing of this one. Um, this is another species I have been after. I will put the scientific name in there for you below. But as you can see, it has this beautiful sort of feather effect on the tail. And I've been told it does rustle these even when it's underground and has them poking up. Something that we're gonna have to look forward to seeing. Now guys, I always recommend centipedes to be at a more of an intermediate or advanced level if you're an invert keeper. These guys are escape artists. You do not want them out. Then gonna have a pretty nasty bite to them as well. So um, I'm not saying that beginners can't have centipedes whatsoever. It's up to you what you do, but just do your research and have some respect for the creature that it is. So yeah, that's our number one. Moving up to number two. We have another Nandu guy. So if you've been watching my channel, you know I have the Nandu chromatis, and this is the Nandu color of a. Blah. Start again. Nandu color of. Colorado Velosis, I think. I'm sorry guys, terrible, terrible with scientific name, pronunciations. Um, so yeah, here it is. We've got the last molt date written on here as well. It was actually giving me uh, a little threat posture just before I started recording, which is why it backed off over there. Um, again, you'll see this in much more detail when I rehouse it. So let's move on to number three, shall we? Number three, a slightly smaller specimen, uh, but this one is the Nandu tripepi. So we now have three of the Nandu genus within our collection. Again, this one is a bit smaller than our other two, but it will grow. So we've got the common name there of Brazilian blonde. Now this is a spider shop pickup. Um, I can't go without buying at least something from the spider shop at the shows. Ah, you've got a bit of a clearer shot there. We'll be rehousing this beauty as well. So, that's my three additions. Let's have a look at what I got for free. So now, next on our list, guys, we have four fishing spider slings. Now, I think these may be a bit too small to show on camera, but as I'm talking, I'll see if I can find one for you. That little dot, not the fruit fly moving around, just underneath. I don't think we're gonna be able to, uh, it is incy wincy. There, look at that. It ain't gonna stay that small, guys. So, we got four of these beautiful slings, and that's from our good friend at House of Bugs. His YouTube channel will be linked in the description below. Please check him out. He didn't want anything in return for these. He was just being a really good friend. So, massive, Thank you to our friends at House of Bugs. But that's not all he got me, guys. Check this. That's right, guys. The Bug Realms family now has its own ant queens to start a little col... Well, what is with my English today? To start a little colony. So, I've been given two of these by our friends at House of Bugs. Two queens there. Um, I'm not going to keep them out long, guys. I don't want to disturb them. But as you can see, there are already eggs in place there. Or at least I presume that's what they are. If I'm wrong, I apologize. I really know very little about ants. I'm gonna be doing my research all night now to see what I can find. Um, he's also offered to give me any advice that I may need. So I'm gonna pop these back somewhere nice and dark and leave them to settle. And now guys, from our friend Gar at Predator or Prey Online. You must know Gar, guys. 
absolute legend. It was the first time I'd actually met him um, at this show. I've wanted to meet him for ages. Now he got me some gifts as well. He's got me three P. Sazmai slings here. I believe that's correct. Correct me if I am wrong, Gar. My memory is awful. So you can see one there. I opened it for you guys to see. Now they're absolutely fine, happy and healthy. So massive, massive thanks to Gar. That was so good of you. Um, but that's not all he got me, guys. I also have this. Ta-da! Now, I think he said this was one of his uh, Carabina Versicolor slings. I'll have to confirm that with, with Gar. My memory is mush with uh, all of this stuff that I ended up being given. Um, and yeah, so I've got my own little Versicolor sling here as well. So that's it for today's video, guys. So massive, massive thanks to our friends at House of Bugs and also to Gar. Both channels are going to be put in the description below. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't even know what to say to you guys. I, I am amazed that you'd be willing to just let me have these from you. So thank you, thank you so much for helping me build my collection, guys. Um, so yeah, there was a few more things I wanted to get. I didn't get any of the Mantis like I was hoping. I didn't see as much of a selection as I had hoped. The Beetle selection for the coffee table enclosure however there were so many beetles some really really cool ones sorry about that glare that's, that's not glare that's my light i am way too tired guys let me just push that down there um yeah sorry um there were so many beetles guys and i'm i was absolutely amazed by the amount of them that were there and i just i just couldn't afford it i just couldn't afford it there would have been some really awesome additions to put in our coffee table enclosure there that i happen to miss out on this time but you know, that's life. Sometimes things uh, kick you financially, but that doesn't mean we're not gonna get them in the future. So that's it from today's video, guys. We'll have better looks at all these guys in future videos. So guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe if you're new to the channel. Check out some of my other content. Give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. Leave us a comment below. Let me know what you think of this little Western Invert haul. And big thanks again to those guys who came and spoke to me, came and made my day, and for the gifts. Take care, bye-bye.